Once I survive.
know who's a real freak? The moon goddess. Celine fell in love with Endymion while watching him sleep. So she asked me to make the shepherd sleep it up. Hey there. You're in bad shape. Too proud to quit, huh? Well, so am I. Phoenix! Stay away from that... thing! What are you doing here? I saw the lightning strike. Naturally, I came right away to finish the job. Easy kills are a specialty of mine. Why am I not surprised? Well, I'm saving the bird, and I won't take no for an answer. No! It's a creature of Typhon! Wait, I'm having a vision? You're going to say... But it needs our help. Then I'll say, it's just waiting to kill us as soon as it has the chance. Then you'll say, Hermes, please, don't make me blackmail you. I'll tell Hera what you did. Then I'll say, you wouldn't. But I know deep down you would, so I agree to help you. All the while, looking for an opportunity, as soon as you let your guard down, to strike. Well, you got me cornered, kid. For now. Since Typhon brought that thing out of Tartarus, you'll need food from down there to revive it. The same food Hades fed to Persephone. Seeds of the dead. I only know of one on the island. Recognize Callisto, Zeus? She was such a vivacious woman. Too bad Terra turned her into a bear. Yes. Almost as bad as you tricking Callisto into a romantic twist with you by pretending to be Artemis. Nothing wrong with some of play. How was I supposed to know Hera would find out? Only that she does. Every single time.
Proud guy, I've got the seed. I'm sorry, kid. Come on, we'll go get some drumsticks. They're on me. Oh, well, that makes things easy. We got the drumsticks right here. Proud fellow. Kind of a stuck up rare breed Typhon lit on fire, huh? If you please, Your Excellency. <coughs> I'm going to name him Phosphor. After Phosphorus, the morning star. <coughs> Phosphor says that he's still weak and needs to regain more strength. He'd like to offer to help you on your journey to repay the debt for saving his life. He, uh, <clears throat> also loves the new nickname. <coughs> like, really loves it. Don't you, Fosfo? I told you this was the right decision. Helping an evil undead bird? Brilliant. <coughs> I take it all back. You were totally on the money. That beautiful bird is offering to take us to Daedalus's secret treasure room. No way! The genius inventor who built this island! The one and only. He says there's a pile of Electrum with my name on it. <coughs> oh, yes. There's also a second seed of the dead that can make Phospho stronger than ever. Would you look at that? Doing good deeds results in good deeds in return. Who would have thought? Is that a trick question? Because the answer is clearly no one. So, there are two clues that lead to this treasure room we need to find. And by we, I mean you. One is near the Dracon Bones, the second is near the Aqueduct. Isn't that right, Phospho? I told you he adores his new nickname, right? Ha! <laughs> 
the Nemean lion after that jock Heracles skinned it? You know when Heracles couldn't slay it, he strangled it with his own hands? Sounds about right. Hera unleashed the lion to torture mortals. Sometimes that wound really turns me.
Finally, all of the mythical be- Aphrodite would be pleased. Ares, exceeding in strength, shield bearer, strong of arm, leader of righteous men. Hear me. Shed down a ray from above upon my life and strength of war. Strong of arm, strong of mouth. You try sending him to his room as a kid. Stone displayed Ares's magnificent physical strength and brawny musculature. Doesn't hold a candle to me in my prime. Tumultuous home to Ares' imposing fortress. Massive skeletons of conquered monsters and bottomless canyons leading to nowhere. Nice cell. As Phoenix surveyed the terrain from atop the God of War, she spied a beast so majestic it could be no ordinary creature. Ah, that must be my son. Not the sharpest sword in the barracks, but he'll knock Phoenix off her feet. Mark my words.
Ya. Closer. I am Ares, the mighty god of war. I will tear you limb from limb. Your puny frame will reduce to dust in my paws. Great Ares, my name is Phoenix. I'm here to defeat Typhon, and I require help from the god of war. You think my mighty blade is at the beck and call of anyone who asks? Don't make me laugh! <laughs> I, I didn't mean any disrespect. I just can't do this without you. You have exhausted my patience. Flee, mortal, before you are forced to bear witness to your own destruction. I will feast on your very liver. Mm. Your eyeballs! And last but certainly not least, your quaking, shaking little heart! <laughs> Crap! Back off! Alright, the jig is up. Just get it over with. Will I be it'll numb my pain? Just do it! What? No, no, calm down. I. Back off! Either you do the honors, or they will. Come now, dice me up. I'm a chicken. Pathetic, clucking poultry. I'm looking for Ares. He's not... A... I am he! Once the mighty god of war, now reduced to an easily startled pile of feathers. Uh, are you sure? Does a bear poop in the woods? Sorry. Fillet me now! Spare me this shame! But... you're Ares! Always first to battle in your chariot! Sparta owed all its victories to you! Where is your famous pride? Your violence incarnate! I wish you were violence incarnate so this would all be over. No one gives a buck about me now. Since when does the mighty Ares care what anyone thinks? You won wars. You can take down Typhon. I mean, you must still, uh, do strategy or something? Look at me. I can't hold a sword. One back oh, on the battlefield and I'm a laughing stock. Even my love, Aphrodite, rejected me the moment she saw me. But I got Aphrodite back to her old self again. I think you might have a shot with her. Oh, so a gorgeous goddess in love with a chicken? I'm sure that's illegal. Definitely not illegal. Look, my fellow soldiers, the townspeople, my brother, they were all cursed by Typhon. They need your help. You can try pulling at my heartstrings all you want, but the reality is that this... this animal cannot help you. I'm not getting Aphrodite back, and you can't even hurt the chicken. Your brother is as good as dead. Hey! Now leave me alone to cry in peace. <laughs> Which I will also fail to do because chickens can't express emotions through tears. But just bottle them up inside. Forever. 
I guess I'll let Aphrodite know you've given up. What did you say? A chicken's a chicken, right? Eh, may as well tell her you're too useless to fight. Forget your lost essence. You'll never be whole again. Fine. Tell her how worthless I am. Even if my essence would fix me, there's no way a mortal could get inside the vault. So forget it. Consider it forgotten. Just out of curiosity, where would I find that vault? Right down there, covered in debris. It's impossible to uncover it. What about using that giant spear? Let's give it a shot. Bear, a little help? Conveniently placed giant spear. It's not blocked anymore, so off I go. <laughs> Fine. It's your funeral. Rest in pieces. Before you go, realistically, you have zero chance. But let's make it 0 0.1 with my blessing. There, no! Look at me! You are not ready. My boy's a chick. He checks out. He's been a disappointment since day one. Babies, such freeloaders. Thank <laughs> you. 
wonder what these chains are finding. Deep in the vault, Phoenix found a statue bound by chains, bearing a strong resemblance to Colchis, the Hecatonkeys. Let me guess, the Hundred Arms were a dead giveaway.
escape you. I will wage an endless war. This place is like Ares, messy, dangerous, and in need of a decorator. What exactly is it about Ares that bothers you so much? I just wanted more. He starts wars, he rushes in, he's so messy. Anytime anyone prays to him, they're driven mad. He never takes out the garbage, even after Hera asks him like three times. But I've made my peace with it. We just joke around. Maybe he does all those things, except the last one. Because he's trying to impress his dad. He wants you to take him seriously. Nah, he never thinks about how his bloodthirsty actions wreak havoc for everyone else. It's like he never grew up. They do say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. The sincerest form of flattery is kidnapping someone so you can get some alone time. Just ask Ganymede.
The rage of the gods demands to be unleashed!
one will drown in my endless rage! <laughs> Typhon! With the chains broken, the group... is getting good. will know what to do. 
If Legiron wasn't turned to stone, he'd have that essence already, and probably a medal too. Phoenix, try harder. Yeah. Not your turn, Bear. Do not be sorry. Be better. I come the vault. So someone got there first and stole your essence. Magog! The thief could be anywhere by now. Failure was inevitable. We're done. Finished. Good night. What'll I tell Aphrodite? Tell her I'm on my way to be flattened on a chariot track. Can't even cross the road, can he? Okay, you got it. Wait! This is a long shot, but we could track the thief via Amazon. As in my daughters, the Amazons. Uncanny trackers with uncanny tracking devices. I could do it! Don't get too excited. They aren't talking to me right now. It's a long story. But. I do have an Amazon tracking kit I received as an offering. It's in my fortress, which Typhon has locked me out of. Gods, this is pointless. Like my dad says, I'm just a bird brain. Unless... Unless? A blast of my salpings could open the gate. I didn't want Typhon's tentacles on it, so I hid it. Your salpings, huh? I'll have to think of something to play. Who do you think you are, Aphrodite? You can't toot an instrument of war willy-nilly. Besides, that's only half the job. You'll have to open the gate with Typhon's Melody of Tribute. Oh, really? What's the melody? Typhon's no normal narcissist. He forced Pan to dedicate a song to him and trained my gate to respond to it alone. Pan toiled on the music in a vault somewhere. That's your best bet to find the melody. Once you've got everything, if you make it out alive, play at the fortress gate to open it. Hey, where's my tribute melody? I think it's the burps people get after drinking too much wine. <laughs>
not be a piece of Typhon's tribute melody. A part of Typhon's tribute melody. He should have hired Apollo instead. He charges less than Pan anyway.
You did this looking for the clue, didn't you, Phosphor? <laughs> no. The hollowed-out beauty of violence is a gilded handle set upon the knife's blade. I heard that once. These people's poor houses. You may think I'm weak, but at least I try to live for something more than my own pride. Can you say the same? Where wild bears roam, King Cocolus's riches lie cold, waiting to be woven into temples and gardens, warmed by the blood of my heart and the fiery springs of my tears. Speak aloud, my beloved, as you turn the key, and you may enter my treasure room. Thank you. 